Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're starting a brand new playthrough of Alone in the Dark as part of Spooky Saturdays, though I will probably give this game its own playlist purely because I think it's going to be quite a long one. Um, it's a psychological horror and it's from a developer called THQ Nordic. Probably you're all aware of them. Um, and it stars Jodie Comer, 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 I don't know how you say her name, from uh, such things as My Mad Fat Diary and Casualty here in the UK, and David Harbour, who a lot of people will know from Brokeback Mountain, Suicide Squad, and of course Stranger Things. So I think we should just get into it, shall we? So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Well, here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just... wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay, and now we get to pick who we're going to be, and I... Well... Edward Carnaby. David Harbour. And... Emily Hartwood. Jody. I'm going to call her... Coma. Um, do you know what? We're going to go with Eddie. Edward. There you go. Why not? Okay. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. Mm. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Oh. Wait here. I'll go around back. Mm. 
Chapter One. Okay, here we are. Eddie! Love it. Okay. I have left the uh, tips on just because I've never, um, I've never played these games before, so I don't know what the, uh, what the deal will be. Another third person view, which is interesting. Anything here? Oh yeah, there you go, we can run, we can run. Oh, what's this? A key! Now what do we got oh, no. here? Oh, a torch! Oh hey, I like that. I have a torch now. Flashlight. Okay. Kitchen garden key. I mean, open. It's a kitchen garden key. There you go. Great. And we can use V to switch our flashlight on and off, which seems a little bit weird because it's normally F, but that's fine. Yes, I have left the tips on, as I say, just to just to help me out because I'm old as dirt and struggle with things like this. <laughs> Nothing in here. Okay, Eddie, can we? Pick up the pace a little bit, my dude. Okay, so we need to go through here. Ooh. Oh! My god. What? What's that? Let's say I will always take bullets. Anything else here? Wow! Look at this. This is pretty. Okay. Oh. Ah, I think we're gonna need something nah, to. I'm not getting in there. Okay. Gonna need something to get in there. That's fine. Okay. Here, now. Yeah. Lady. Hey, lady. You there, lady. I think we can go in there. One thing I have done is I have turned down the... Ooh, the motion blur a little bit. Just, just in case it makes anybody feel a little bit sick. It can do with me sometimes. Whoa! That is a big tree! Okay. Well, it's on here we can we can have. The the trees whispering, okay. This is huh? weird. What? Yeah. Okay, can we yeah. Maybe we should stop roaming about in the dirt. What's what's this? Another key, housekeeper's key. Awesome. Okay. This has been quite the um, quite the anticipated game. This actually, I believe the original. It was back in the nineties, and this is like a homage to it. Um, I never played the original, but I am deeply curious. I've seen a lot of um, a lot of people hyping about this, so I wanted to check it out. And I love a good mystery, you know. I love a good mystery. That's a drink. I assume that's our health means of health. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to get into that shed out there, though. I would quite like to get into that shed just to see what's in there, but I imagine we can come back to it. Okay. Housekeeper's key. Let's get in. Okay. If I do. Yeah, don't mind if I do, thank you. There's a lot of bumping and banging and all that jazz. It's a little bit weird. But okay. Anything else in here? No. Anything in this? Oh my goodness, look at this. What's this? Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had 
turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Oh. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns? Mm. A goat without horns. Okay, so this woman kind of got into the the, the practice, the, the practice, the practice of voodoo. I mean, okay, fair enough. Hey, you believe what you want to believe. Very, I feel it was quite prevalent in New Orleans. I believe it still is. I don't know, but I've never been. I'd love to go to New Orleans. Actually, it's one of the places in the world. I would absolutely love to visit. Okay, let's have a little peek in here. In here. Oh, take the bullets, thank you. Anything else? Ooh, look at all these things we get to search. Very interesting. I hope y'all don't mind me actually searching everything. Um, I just don't want to miss anything. You know, important clues and whatnot, or bullets, because we always need bullets. Just like a fridge. Okay, it's like a fridge. Oh, there's bullets in the fridge, because why wouldn't you keep bullets in the fridge? Um, check out this this way, just see what's what's through here. Hmm, fire extinction. We open this. Oh my god, we can! Okay. I didn't think we'd be able to. Is this like a cellar? Looks like it. Okay. What was that? Alright. I mean, we may end up making these episodes quite long, because if there's a lot of um, if there's a lot of reading and stuff, and I don't want to miss anything, then you know, streetcar ticket, lag, laniape. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, laniapes are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Complete sets will uncover forbidden knowledge, and sometimes even more. Ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. I love that kind of. Laniapes carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both Carnaby's and Emily's campaign. Oh, interesting. Okay. I need the key. Ah, I need the key. Well, never mind. It's worth a nosy. Worth a look round. Just realised we've still got our torch on. We don't need it on. Yes, I, um, I might make these episodes a little bit longer than the usual standard episodes that I put out of Spooky Saturday's games purely because I want to um, I want to see everything Ooh. and if there is a lot of reading we need to cover it okay sabotage please do not touch the boiler 
It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. All right. Mr. Waits. Right, Mr. Waits, no problem, mate. We will mess around with your boiler. Hmm. Okay, interesting. All right. So I'm guessing we're going to find some plates or something that we can... Yeah. Can we get, okay, we can't go through there. Okay, all right, all right. And a broken valve. All right, so we need a valve, do we, to get in there? That's fine. Oof, man. Bloody hell. It's a bit vicious, wasn't it? Okay, so... Is it through there, do you suppose? Ah, that's to the upstairs. Okay, whoa, whoa. There was another door in the kitchen, but I think... Maybe we can find something in there. Hang on. More notes or whoa, okay, dead things, lots of dead things. Although it's butchery, isn't it? It's for the purpose of, you know. What's this? Rat poison. Oh, look at this. There's all different things you can find. Okay, that's 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 cool. What was that? Lanyapes. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I will look up the word, and we'll see. Okay. Yeah, we'll always take extra health, thank you. Okay. Alright, let's 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 head up. What what? Alright. Well, okay. Let's go upstairs. Let Elizabeth in. Is it Elizabeth? it. Never mind. What? What's that? Opus. Is this locked? Oh no, we can go in here. I hope there's nobody in the bath. <laughs> we just kind of strolled in. I'm hearing water sounds, but there's no water. Okay. I really do need to just let her in, don't I? <laughs> I'm just being incredibly nosy. What's this? Hello? Deceto Deceto floor plans. For floor plans, jeez, I can't speak. Ah Okay. Orderly. What's that? Locked door. Okay. Servant stairs. So we just came up those stairs. We checked out the bathroom. We're in the orderly's bit. So we need to go to the front door, the grand parlour there. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Deceto, the old plantation Deceto. building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Really? Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door... Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. All right. Piaz Piazza key. Nice. Yes, Piazza key. Lovely. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Ooh, can we open this? What? Ah, we don't have the key. God bless it. Well, never mind. Can we open this? Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh. Sorry, I'm incredibly nosy, I know. Lottie's diary. Oh, this might be. Sunday, June yeah. 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. 
She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Ooh. All right, very good. Okay, that gives us a little bit of info. We might be able to find a key in the parlor. That's grand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with regards to the reading, this is the last time I'm going to say it. Or I'm going to mention it, hopefully. You know, um, obviously the, the devs have taken the time to, you know, record all the the audio and everything. So, why not? Why not listen to it? And that's the key. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. So, is this... Ah, is this the piazza key? Oh, hey! There you go, piazza key. Brilliant. Brilliant! Is this... Hello? Alright. Okay, birds. Chill out. Okay. Oh. So what was in the other, is, I assume, let's just have a look at our map here. Ah, there we go. So that's where, is that where Elizabeth is then? I'd have thought she'd been here at the entrance, but okay. So could we have gotten in the library? Ah, this is, this is, this is, I know. I know you're probably all thinking, for God's sake, woman, get on with it. But I am just ever so curious, you know. Oh mm. god, the bloody key. The key. Should, no, no, let's go and let her in. We've, we've done enough faffing. We've faffed enough. Let's let her in. Whoa, that's a big old bear. That's a big old bear. Okay, so, so, oh, oh. Thanks. Come on in. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Okay, this is quite the room. Um, so he made clay sculptures, some weird clay sculptures. All right, what's 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 this? Hello, a locked box. Ah, guessing we need to find a find something to enable us to do. To, to move, to maybe do something with that. Okay, anything else in here? Oh, there's a fax. Need the key. 
God bless it. Right. Anything else? Hmm. Yeah, it's very weird. Very strange. What's this? The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest, and I shall weep. Okay. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop him. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All oh, will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. What's this? Talisman plates. Can we, can we have a look at this? Hmm. Ah, eight, five, three. What's what's this? Talisman plates and sockets. These are always three numbers. Ah, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, painted tile. Ah, for the for the for the the box. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant. Right, we can get in this box now. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so we need to put the painted tile in. Um, okay, so can we move it to move that to there, that, and that, uh, that, and would it be that and that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then that with that, and that with that. Perfect. We're in. What is it? Hey, 
You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? All right. <sighs> <sighs> I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. It's kind of horrifying, if we're being honest. It looks terrified. Reflection on the power of the something. Oh. All right. Come on. I want to go see Doctor Gray. Let's go. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm sure. coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? going on? Where am I? Have we gone back in time or something? Still can't open that. Need the key. Okay. I didn't know we could just bust through doors like that. Okay. Whoa, okay. What's 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 happened here? <gasps> what is that? Can we oh ah. Okay. All right. Christ, what the hell was that? Exactly. There's more of them. I can hear it. I think. Ah. Ow. Oh. Oh god. Oh. I need to reload. Come on. Jeez. Okay, we're a little beat up. That wasn't really brilliant, was it? Oh, the, you just press R to reload. God bless it. I wish I'd have known that. Never mind. Well, thank God we picked up all those health tonics, eh? Or whatever it is. Whiskey. I don't know. Bullets, thank you. Good grief! Well, that was... yeah. What the hell are these things, though? Ooh, stinky. Okay. What else? What was that? It sounded like a horse. Winning. I think that's what you call it. And they whinny. Okay. Uh, is there anything else here? Ah, what's this? More bullets, thank you. I can't oh, go that way. Okay, can't go that way, that's fine. Just checking it out. Seeing if there's anything we can have. Or nab. What the hell is going on? What is that weird noise? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Can be thrown? Okay, well. Oh. Alright. Okay. That is troubling that you wish to tell me that now. Perfect. 
something else here. I can't go that way. Yeah, all right. I know I'm supposed to be checking out the corner store, but I'm kind of... Okay. Ring the bell. I just want to make sure that we're not missing anything. I know there's bound to be tons of lore just sort of sitting around, waiting to be found. Why does it keep... Okay, let's just go in the store. That... I bet there's an achievement for ringing all the bells. Any money. Can we go in here? Anything? Yep, bullets. A pipe! Okay. That's great. Nice. Good God. We might have to look at some of the key bindings here, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, dude, let's 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 get in the sh in the store. They said in the shop. Okay. Johnny the Conqueror. Ooh. Oh my god, that's a big dude. Don't let them get inside, compare. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, uh, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got for Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Mm. All right. Well. Bastis's keys. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to De Cetto. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Ooh, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What's this thing? Preserved reptile. Oh, lovely. Um, That's one of those collectibles. Let me open this. Take the bullets, why not? Anything else? Ooh, more bullets. This is a very interesting little shop, isn't it? Voodoo shop. Or root shop or something, I don't know. More bullets. Mm. Well, we will fix ourselves up a little bit. Just so we're not quite so beaten up. So, can we talk to him again? Or there you go. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. All right. Well, I thought I'd ask. You know, we could have worked together. But that's fine. Okay. Let's, um, let's go out and see what we can find. Okay, so I think we... Can we... Wait, no. Map is of no use here. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to check. Before I start, um... Doing anything else? Oh my! What the? What is that? God, the, the weapon sway is ludicrous. 
<sighs> Please load faster. In the world is that? It's like a body that's merged with another body with a load of maggots. What the hell? All right, all right, all right. Oh. Well, we don't need to throw anything now. Definitely not. Um. Okay. Over here. No. Oh, I thought I saw somebody stood there then. Scared the life out of me. Okay. In here. More bullets, perfect. Nothing else? Can't go this way, I imagine. No. Okay, invisible wall syndrome. <laughs> oh. Is that more bullets? Always take them, because you never know. Is this the place? This looks like the place. Let's um, get what we can here. Bullets, health, anything. Is that an axe? Ooh, hatchet. Perfect. Okay, let's, um, let's go in here. Bastis' keys, yes. Let's get in. Footsteps. No bullets. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Filthy animals. Oh. Something sounds awful. Is there anything else over here? Yeah. Missed. What's this? More oh, bullets? What? Good go There we go. Finally. Jeez Louise. Alright. Eddie? Drink your, drink your booze, sir. Oh, something sounds awful in here. Okay. Ready? Oh god, it's still going? Okay, it sounded like it vomited. Ready? Oh my god, oh my god, please! My weapon broke. Oh no, what? That's a thing. Okay, so the weapons can break. That's good to know. Didn't know that. Alright, we're fully loaded. Let's get in there. Come on, Eddie. I know he's called Edward, but I like calling him Eddie. It sounds better. All right. Really? And I can't... I think you could at least punch him in the face. Oh, good lord. Okay, what's this? A juju. I don't know what that is. Well, okay. All right. Good God. Woo, that scared me. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, another bloody throwable thing. I want to throw stuff. Okay, something's going to burst out of one of these things, isn't it? Ugh. 
Okay. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Yeah, let's have a little sniff round first. See if there's anything else. I get a feeling whatever's on that table is what we need. We need a key. God bless it. Oh. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, that scared the life out of me, that that monster. Ugh. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Okay. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Ooh, look at that. I like it. Very nice. All right. So what's what's this? I think it's meant for the talisman. All right. So ah. Let's just come out a minute. Didn't we didn't we have in our notes here where is it? Talisman schematics, here we go. Oh no, that's how you make it. Okay, so it was commonplace book. I think it was the last page. Ah. Okay, uh, can we have a look at this? So eight five three from this from the smallest to the largest, 853, 853, okay, 853, all right, so... I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Yeah, so, Maybe so, there's something in Jeremy's notes. Ah, I see, so 8, 5, 3, there we go. It's showing something. A place? This place. Where is that? Isn't it? No? Huh. Oh, that's that's not creepy at all, is it? Alright, let's 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 go. What? Detective. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly 
worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Chapter two. Detective Carnby. How did you... where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared? No. It's not what you think. Have you... have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With his talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Teroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Even Teroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Mm. And I think, folks, at the start of chapter two right here is where we are going to leave it. Next time we will continue onwards and hopefully we'll find some more clues as to where Jeremy has gone. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.